Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel guys. I hope you are doing well. In this video, I want to give you an update on what is coming up next on this channel. Of course, if you have been watching, you will know that I have focused on the downstairs of the property in terms of renovation progress. And we are basically gonna go upstairs where we have a main bathroom and then three bedrooms. And if you're new here, hi, welcome, hello. I am in the process of renovating a three bed Victorian property in London. And if you're looking for aesthetic content in this video, I'm really sorry, but I have none. I have no aesthetic content for you in this video. I know that some of you guys are either renovating or thinking about renovating and therefore showing you the step-by-step -step process of how I get to desired outcomes, I think is really useful based on your comments and your messages. So aesthetics will come in upcoming videos. And in this video, I'm gonna show you specifically how things have been progressing with the upstairs bathroom. So you are definitely behind on how fast things have been moving with the renovation. But again, showing you the process I know is really useful for some of you, so let's get into the video. So one of the things that I do not love about this house is that the main bathroom is basically connected to a box room, technically making it an ensuite. And my plan is in the near future to basically renovate into the loft so I can install a proper family bathroom and then have this bathroom basically act as a guest on suite. So that is the plan. So you can see that the old bathroom has been completely stripped out and I have to admit it looks absolutely horrible. You can see the old windows there which have been replaced with sash windows. It is a very small space so I had to think meticulously about all the things that I wanted to fit into that space. I did consider making the room a little bit bigger, but I didn't want to take any more space away from the box room. I also thought about not putting in a bath and just having a shower, but I already have a wet room downstairs. And I think that if you do have two bathrooms, it's just, I think it just makes sense to have one bathroom that has a bath in it. So I am gonna have a bath installed. And that is basically what it looks like now. But again, stay tuned to see how things progress with this space. So when it comes to the bathroom layout, my personal preference is to not have the toilet be the first thing that you see when you walk into a bathroom, if you can help it. It isn't the end of the world, but my preference is definitely to have the toilet tucked away in the corner. Luckily, it already is. So my new toilet will be in a very similar position. And my vanity will basically be the first thing that you see when you open the bathroom door. And the vanity, guys, I absolutely, I am obsessed with the vanity and can't wait to show it to you. And when it comes to the actual bath, the original bath actually used to be horizontal. So it was the first thing that you saw when you walked into the bathroom. So I am basically going to flip the orientation of the bath. So the bath will be installed on the left-hand side vertically. And then I'm gonna have shower installed above the bath because I am more of a shower person than a bath person and it just makes sense in my opinion to have a shower installed as well. So that is basically the update for this video. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.